the Top of Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our 24-7 news report videos. As always, we start with our breaking news and the breaking news is that Everton have switched their attention to Red Bull Salzburg midfielder Mohamed Kamara after being unable to find a mutual agreement with PSG for Idrissa of Ghana Gay. That's come by the Daily Mail. Um, we then move on to... Uh, Fabrice Hawkins, who said that no deal has been found yet between PSG and Idrissa Gray. Everton are refusing to give up. Um, so that leading on sort of suggests that Everton aren't done with the deal now. They're just looking at an alternative um, just in case it can't get done. Fabrice Hawkins is a journalist in France. Um, so that should be very interesting, this saga of those two. Um, yeah, the way I see it is I don't think this deal was nearly, um, it, it's quite funny because loads of people were saying it was done last week. Loads of um, sources were saying done deal, done deal. He very much is on his way. Um, and now all of a sudden it looks like it was never actually that close. You could be a bit cynical and say we're after Kamara to sort of hurry PSG up and say, listen, if you don't sort it out, we're going to buy somebody else and you won't have the sale. And then what happens to you then? Um, you sort of use Kamara as a pawn in all of this. Because like Fabrice said, Everton aren't done. We're bringing Garner Gay back. And um, interesting, we're after Mohamed Kamara. Very, very good midfielder. Um, very, very good. <laughs> really, like, a, really good. Um, it. it it's it's really great to see I, one of the lads who's on Everton Twitter and he does um, stuff for the Spanish side of the Toffee Blues sometimes called Alejandro um, did a he did a thread as well on Onana uh, recently but he's been he's been talking about um, Kamara for ages now really likes him um, yeah I, I trust I trust Alejandro's uh, scout report as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I think if we don't get Gway and we get Kamara, I'm not going to be devastated. I'm not going to be one of these that their heart set on Idrissa Gay or the highway. I, I'm not going to do that. I I would very much like Kamara. He's younger. He'll have a higher sell on value. He's a very good player. Idrissa Gay is 33. Ideally, in an ideal world, we get both of them. So then we've got Kamara and Onana for the future, and Gway for now as an experienced head. We'll have to wait and see on all that. Um, I'm also not getting excited for Kamara because I do think that potentially Idrissa Gay will still be the one that comes to Everton um, just because he will very much be up for the mood. Although saying that, I have saw before that a Kamara had voted on an Everton fan um, Instagram poll about him saying, should we go get him? He voted yes. So very interesting there, almost a come get me plea. Um, so we'll have to wait and see on that one, guys. But honestly, if you were heart set on Gway and you're feeling like, oh no, you, you worry you might be disappointed, don't be this. This Kamara is a very, very good footballer. Higher sell on value. I actually think he'd be the smarter one to go to. Um, moving on, though, we do have the Everton are one of the clubs interested in Tangai and Dombele, um, who is currently playing for Leon. This has come from journalist Santi Auna, who's a journalist for Foot Mercato. Um, see, unlike Kamara, I would say probably no to this one. Um, I always struggled to figure out what type of footballer Ndombele was. Was he a box-to-box? -box? I don't think his defensive game was big enough. Is he a, a cam sort of attacking midfielder creatively? I don't think so. I think he's good at what it's some of the stuff. I just really struggled to see where he sort of settled. Um, didn't settle well at Spurs. I don't think Leon are after him as well. Sounds like he might struggle to... I think that's his biggest one, is what type of midfielder is he? I'm not too sure. Um yeah, I can't see us getting him unless the price would be right either. I don't, I don't think we're taking much of that. Um, from the same source though, um, Santiago Una, uh, talks have taken place between Everton and Strasbourg striker Ludovic Ajorku. Uh, Everton could offer a loan with an option to buy. Strasbourg prefer to sell Ajorku. I said yesterday in the striker edition of the news that he was probably the best one of the of the bunch. Um, the loans with options to buy, we don't have many loan spots available left. We've got to be careful with this. Thank God we're not doing an El Ghazi. Um, but a loan with an option to buy would be very clever because he performs well, but he's performed well in the French League. That's not the Premier League. A season would be enough to see how he adjusts to that. Um, 
And I think that's actually quite sensible from the club that we are trying to get loans of options to buy. Just unfortunately, we don't have an endless amount of loan um, loan slots, do we? So we have to be useful with them. Um, but yeah, like I said, he's the best of, of the bunch yesterday. Uh, very much a target man-esque like Calvert-Lewin, which gives you an idea of what Everton won up front. Um, I would be all for this. Um, Nottingham Forest have made a £20 million bid for Watford forward Emmanuel Dennis. Everton have had an interest for Dennis this summer. That's come via the Athletic. Got in this, uh, I think I think Watford accept that bid. That's what they wanted for him when we were rumoured. I think he would have been a really good Richarlison replacement. Um, but I think... And he can play up front, but I think now, currently at Everton, the focus has gone to sorting out the midfield centrally, which was one of our weaker parts last season. So you can understand why that's being addressed now. And straight an out and out striker, um, because obviously Calvert Lewin is injured. Um, so yeah, it one of them is it we've got Dwight McNeil, and I think maybe the club see Dwight McNeil as um not a Richardson light for light, but he can play off the wings. Gordon can play off the wings and up front. Damari Gray, maybe they feel like we've got too many of that type of play, uh, player. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gutted to miss out on Dennis, uh, in all honesty. But it's, it's one of them, isn't it, guys? Um, that's, if, that's if they accept it. That's if they accept it. They might not accept it yet. Um, we just, you know, it's worth, worth keeping an eye on. But I think they will. Um, because that was the bid that was rumoured to be what they, um, you know, that's rumoured to be the bid that they wanted. Um, speaking of Everton missing out on uh, targets, Crystal Palace uh, believe Patrick Vieira can help them beat Everton in Newcastle to Conor Gallagher. According to the Times, um, they claim Palace are keen to re-sign him on loan. Um, due to Frank Lampard's links with Chelsea, Gallagher has been linked with Goodison Park, uh, but nothing's came to fruition. I don't think Gallagher was ever truly linked with us. I think it was more like it's just said, Frank Lampard, former Chelsea, and people were getting a bit excited over that. I say people, the media. Um, I don't think we're ever in intention. I've never seen a real valuable, worth, worth, worthful source claim that we're after him. So, yeah, um, I can see him going back to Palace on loan. I don't think they're going to sell him. Chelsea are well aware of the potential that he has. Um, we also have that Nathan Broadhead has signed a new three-year deal. Blues confirmed this week that Broadhead would spend the, uh, the campaign on loan at Wigan Athletic. The forwards' new deal does see him stay till 2024. Broadhead scored 13 goals, uh, including several crucial winners to help Sunderland get through the playoffs, uh, which is now where Ellis Sims is. Um, I'm not too sure about this one, guys. I, I really don't see the value in this. Um, no offence to Broadhead, but I don't think he is... Um, I don't think, yeah, I just don't think he's worth um, signing a new contract for unless we are sort of hoping that maybe, maybe um, we get somebody to buy him. But um, I, yeah, I, I don't think Broadhead has a future at Everton. And finally, we have some news uh, regarding Moise Keane, a little update with him. Uh, Everton could be set for an unexpected cash windfall for Moise Keane this summer. According to Foot Mercato, who are reporting that Juventus want to get rid of the striker as soon as possible. Um, the Echo did report back in March that there's no arrangement for Keane's two-year loan deal to be um, to bring him back to Goodison Park this season, um, despite um, claims from the Italian media. The Echo understand there is no break clause in Keane's two years, which includes an obligation for Juventus, uh, who sold the player to Everton initially and then ended up with him back. But now, according to the report, um, OGC Nice have been offered a chance to sign Keane from Juventus. But before that happens, the Italian club will have to uh, trigger the purchase deal clause uh, in their part of the deal from Everton. So basically, if they want to get rid of him, they're going to have to buy him, then move him on quickly, um, which is very, very interesting. Um, and we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, hopefully that happens because the deal was worth quite a bit. Um, we sort of broke even, but bearing in mind the finances of Everton Football Club this summer, the, the money could be useful. Um, could help us get a striker instead of loan deals, which I've spoke about earlier on in this video that we're trying to get. Um, and you know what? That that money we could have brought Dennis with that. Could have brought Dennis with that type of money, um, who we're probably going to miss out on now, uh, which is a shame. But yeah. Um, so get the money off them as soon as we can. What they do with them afterwards is completely their prerogative. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. 
we'll have to wait and see on that one uh, and see what happens with it. Um, moving on, though, as well, we have some uh, news on um, Everton and uh, who they are playing um, in the EFL Cup as well, uh, the League Cup, uh, which is always exciting. The draw was last night. Uh, and Everton have drawn Fleetwood Town away in the second round of the Carabao Cup. The tie will be played the week commencing the 22nd of August. Um, played Fleetwood, obviously, last year as well. Uh, so we know them. Hopefully we'll beat them. Um, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, if we got a little bit further in the Carabao Cup than we did last year as well, more importantly. I think that's something the fans would like, maybe a bit of a cup run. Not saying, you know, not expecting us to win it when we get to the quarters and we start facing the big boys of the Prem. But it'd be nice to give a bit of a cup run um, for you know people to get excited about, people to get behind the team for. Um, and Fleetwood's a good start there as well. And finally, finally, um, the Everton third kit was announced this morning. Um, the yellow kit with the tower emblem instead of the crest um, and the towers going up it. I quite like the kit. I think it's very, very smart. Me and Terry will be talking about it a little bit later on. Um, so the video will come out later on in the channel but from the time you're watching this so watch that as well for mine Terry's full thoughts um, but if you like the kit um, most importantly which is if you like it brilliant that's all that matters if you want to get the kit because you like it you can get it through the affiliate link that's in the description down below it takes you to the uh, Everton official Everton website it's an official top you can just buy it just go through the link it helps me and the other uh, well it helps the channel out a lot uh, so we'd really appreciate it in that aspect but yeah, that's all I've got time for, guys. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let me know your thoughts on the Moise Keen thing, um, on Kamara, on Idrissa Gouet, the whole debacle there. Let me know all your good stuff. I look forward to reading it. See you in a bit.